Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zatu's. In this video, I'll be showing you or discussing with you creating first application in Android Studio. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out these offer just under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, you might be wondering how do you first create your first application here, Android Studio? Well, creating one is very simple. So the first thing that you need to know here is you need to have Android Studio installed in your PC in order for you to create your first project. But right now, I'm assuming you already have this installed. So how do we create our project? So when you first open up Android Studio, this is what you'll be seeing. Now, since we want to create a new project, let's go and choose the new project option here that you see on the welcome page. And in here, you have a number of options. So you have the option to create an empty activity here or basic views activity or even have like the uh, usual uh, usual application that has the navigation drawer views uh, already in it. So which is something really helpful here if you don't want to start from blank here. And also at the left side, you have the option to change different uh, formats. So if you want to use a Wear OS format here, so in this case, you wearable watches, you have televisions, you also have automotive here. But in this example, let's just start with a basic one, which is going to be phone and tablet, which is the most common uh, type of projects out there for Android. Now, from here, just go and click on empty activity since we want to basically have things ready for us. But if you want to choose no activity here, if you want to customize that, you could go ahead and start from scratch. But let's go and choose empty activity and click on next. Now, from here, you need to provide some details, like, for example, the name of your project. Now, you can basically enter whatever name you want. And also, you have the package name, which in this case will directly affect the folders that you have later on. So there are going to be a lot of generated, uh, uh, in this case, folders out there. So, for example, you can change this, like, so instead of being sample, you can just type in example here. Uh, if you want to change that and also you can change the save location where you want to save this so by default it's going to be under android studio projects under my applications uh since the uh in this case the project is going to be my applications that's the name for it so it's going to be my applications folder but usually it's going to be under android studios projects now from here you go and choose the minimum a uh, sdk now the minimum sdk here determines uh what's the android vo version that your project actually or your app works uh, in the minimum level. So for example, if you choose Android 10, only Android devices running Android 10 and above can access your app. So obviously, if you uh, want to access more advanced features, or in this case, you're using advanced features in here, the more likely you need to upgrade your uh, Android version. So for example, you need to use like uh, uh, Android 13 or Tiramisu here in order for you to utilize some uh, certain functionalities. But then again, if you're just making something simple, you could choose Android 10 here. So obviously there are going to be different changes to that. So just make sure to do your own research on what type of uh, Android version you want. Now, from here, you need to also determine your build configuration language. Now, from here, uh, you could use uh, Kotlin DCL. We also have Groovy DCL here. But in my case, uh, let's go and choose Kotlin here. And from here, let's go and click on Finish. Now, once you click on finish, it's going to start generating our project here. So this might take a while. As you can see at the very bottom, it's going to start loading that. So in this case, just wait for it to complete. Again, it's st still loading up. Just wait for it. But once it's done, you should be able to start using it. But once your project here is fully loaded, this is what you'll be seeing here. So by default, your main activity uh, .kd should be opened up. Now, there are going to be different folders that you could access here. And by the way, if you're not seeing the same UI I'm seeing right now, then most probably you need to uh, reload your Gradle uh, folder. So usually you could fix that uh, by going to your uh, users uh, Windows uh, Windows folder here. Go to users and uh, your, your current account. And just want to look for that Gradle here and you want to delete that. Usually if you're having like sync issues, deleting this could actually solve all of your issues here. But... In this case, uh, once you load this, is, let's go and discuss a few things. Now, first thing I want to discuss here is going to be the uh, Kotlin plus uh, Java here. Now, the folder actually contains your files. So in this case, when you open up the uh, in this case the first folder here, so not the Android test or test folder, so this one. So these are actually automatically created. So if you want to add like classes into this one, you just need to go to the first folder here, right click on it. And you want to go to new and just add a new Java class or a Kotlin class or file. So in this case, either way, you just want to go ahead and do that. 
add whatever name for it. So like for example, you want to create a class interface, you know, annotation or exception, go ahead and do that. But yeah, so that's how you create your classes here. Now, if you want to go and start adding, like for example, images into your project, you could go ahead and open up the rest here and you want to go ahead and go to drawable and you want to start adding like images in here. Now, in order for you to add an image, what you need to do is you need to open up the folder want to click right click on the, uh, the file or image that you want to add click on copy go back here under studio just right click on drawable and you just need to click on paste now this will actually add an image itself so in this case i would recommend you to make sure that you uh use a name that's unique like for example i'm gonna add cat.jpeg here click on ok and then once it's added we could go and start using that but in this case, what's uh, what do we need to do next? Now, the thing with this one is usually in this section here, you should have the option to view your actual UI for your mobile device. But just in case, if you're not able to do that, you want to go and go to rest here, right? Click on it. And if I'm not mistaken, what we need to do here is you want to go and choose the new option and you just need to choose Android resource file, uh, resource file. Now from here, you want to go and change the resource type here into uh, the option for layout. And from here, just enter a name for the file. So in this case, maybe I want to say this is going to be my main layout. From here, uh, once you've added that, it should actually make sure that you're using uh, your, you only have like no spaces on it. Click on OK. And you should have the XML file for it. As you can see here now, it's now added. Now, from here, you could go and start adding whatever you want to see into your file here. So if you want to add, like, for example, a text, you just drag it in here. As you can see, we now have our text. Now, by the way, you could go ahead and uh, you have by default, you have like a linear layout. So in this case, uh, it will be in a linear way. So you could go ahead and convert your view here to a different one. Like, for example, you will have a constraint layout if you want to have the freedom to uh, change a few things on the UI itself. So in this case, going to say just requires a library, click on OK. And now another way that you could uh, basically uh, uh, change this, right click on it, you could go and click on the uh, convert to um, constraint layout. But in this case, since we actually add a uh, layout here, so I'll add this one. But yeah, let's go ahead and add it in here. As you can see, you've added this. But the thing with this one is it's not, oh, we need to add constraints to it. So in this case, you go ahead and point this at the very top. So it actually uh, anchors to the top. So it actually uh, is going to be uh, adjusting depending on the screen that you're using for Android here. Now, same goes with images. So let's go ahead and add an image view here. Let's go ahead and center. And you could go ahead and just choose the image that we just recently added. So you can go ahead and choose this one, click on OK. Image is added in here. Now the great thing about this one is you can change the actual look of your um, image here. So at the right side you have your attributes. So you can change like the layout width and the layout high uh, lay, layout high here. You could change the, the uh, DP for it, and also you have the rotations here if you want to rotate it and a lot of other things. Like for example, you have uh, you want to add a background uh, scale type here, the alpha. If you want to see all the attributes, make sure to expand at uh, the old attribute section here, and you can basically change. All, obviously, there's going to be a lot that you can do here. But yeah, so as you can see, the layout constraint, uh, lay, uh, layer type, label four, if you want to update those. But in this case, you want to go ahead and just lay out or add a constraint here so to the image so that the image itself would actually adjust on the look of, or in this case, where uh, the image will adjust depending on where your text here is located. So in this case, sometimes like depending on, again, depending on the size of the Android device, it might sometimes like overlap. So in this case, once you add a constraint on it, it's going to be in that specific position depending on your text here. So the farther it is away from the top, the more it's going to adjust. As you can see, it's anchored to that text. So yeah, if you, by the way, if you want to view this the other way, you could go and click on the, uh, uh, in this case, the file itself. So if you want to uh, edit this manually, you could go and do this. Uh, if you just want to see the text, so you can choose text at the top right here. If you want to use the um, drag and drop option or the uh, dynamic way of editing this, you could go and choose the image icon here at the very top. 
But yeah, so this is how you start creating your first application here in Android Studio, and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button, and watch our next video.